Welcome back to the Digital Learning Lab. This is the final video in our mini series on Canvas and how to make it awesome for you and for your students. Um, this video, we're going to do one final little automation. If you watched the previous video about how to automate the grade pass back to your student information system, um, you know that I hate grading. It is one of the things that I just, I don't enjoy doing. Maybe you are like me. Comment below if, if you also don't like grading. Let's have a conversation about how grading is dumb. Um, but it has to happen, doesn't it? We, we need to report, we need to report grades. Students need to know where they stand against the things that we're holding them accountable for. So grades are massively important. I just don't like doing it. But here's an automation that's going to help you out. So let's jump into our sandbox today, which is again, this anatomy course. If you missed out the video on how to design a homepage like the one you see, definitely check out that video. Um, also, I'm going to give something away. I'm going to give something away at the end of this video. So if you stick around to the end, I'll give you the instructions on how you can win something. It's going to save you a ton of time and hopefully it'll be a good gift for you. Uh, right. So automation, that's what we're after today. Let's automate another neat thing. So I'm going to go to grades, click on grades. I already have nightly sync set up, so it's going to automatically push stuff as I make it into my student information system. That's Skyward in this case. So here's all these assignments that I have. And not always do kids turn in their assignments on time. Has that happened for you? It's happened to me. And one of the things that I, I struggle with because I'm, I'm always trying to do other things like important to me is connecting with my students, delivering high quality lessons and giving them experiences and all of those things. And what I sometimes forget to do is to go back when an assignment is over and put in zeros for kids that didn't do it because they need to know that they didn't do it. And they need to know that if they don't do it, it's going to affect their grade. And, and anyways, all of these things, I forget to do it sometimes, but not anymore because well, I always forget to do it, but I, it doesn't matter anymore because in Canvas, if you didn't know this, which you might not have, um, click on this little settings wheel and this gives you the gradebook settings. Check this out. The first tab is late policies. Automatically apply a grade for missing submissions. Maybe you already knew this and if you did, then um, I guess you can leave. But if you didn't, and if you also want to know how to how to win a prize at the end of the video, stick around. Um, you just click this and you can apply a grade for missing submissions. I think default, it sets it as a hundred percent. Like it'll give kids full points if they don't turn it in, which to me seems weird. I don't know why that would be the thing. So I just turn it to zero so that as soon as the day did, day did, day do, whoa, boy, the due date, as soon as the due date hits, it will automatically input 0% of that grade to each of those students that didn't turn it in. And so, boom, zero. You might notice what, there's another option down here, automatically apply a deduction to late submissions. The way that this works is on an interval. Um, so if you click this, you could say that every, every hour, well, this is intense, every hour you're going to lose 5% of your grade and the lowest grade you could get on an assignment is zero. What that would do is, let's say it's due at 10 o'clock PM. At 11 o'clock PM, the highest score a student could get if they turned it in is 95%. At midnight, the highest they could get is 90%. If they wait until the morning, well, do the math. Actually, do the math. I don't know what the math is, but it's going to be much lower for each hour that they, that they didn't turn it in. So I don't know what your late work policy is. Um, my late work policy is they have a two week window to turn things in and I give them full points. Um, because if they did it, they, they should get, you know, the points that they earned for actually doing the work. Um, but everybody has a different one, but after that two weeks door closes, 
and it closes hard. They can't do it anymore. I say, sorry, Charlie. Two weeks was kind of a long time, and now you can't. But that's neither here nor there. The important thing is choose what you want. As a note, if you already have stuff in your gradebook and you click this, it will backdate all of that. And then anything that was late, depending on how late it was, it's going to wipe it all out. So maybe just don't click that one. Um, but you could do every day or each hour what percentage it gets deducted. That's up to you. Um, but just this one, this is the important one. So if it's missing, they'll get 0% of that grade and apply. So now if the due date is 10 o'clock, boom, 10 o'clock, everybody that did not turn it in will get a zero at midnight. Everybody will have their grades migrated over to the student information system, which is Skyward in my case. And, uh, and they'll know immediately, oh, shoot, I didn't turn in that assignment. I need to go back and turn that in. Um, or I need to talk to my instructor and understand if there's something else I can do. What is your late work policy? Um, so here we are at the end of the video. Giveaway is similar to the giveaway in the first of this series where I offered to design a homepage for anyone who left a comment to that video. This week is going to be similar to that. I will design you a homepage, but also I want to build you a fun quiz. I want to build you a quiz with hotspots and matching and multiple choice and all of those things. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel and comment down below and start your comment with my favorite tech tool. My favorite tech tool. What is your favorite tech tool? Um, and tell us, tell us what it is. Maybe it's something that we've already talked about on this channel. Maybe it's something that I should talk about on this channel. But if you want me to design a homepage for you and also create a quiz for you uh, based on whatever your standards and content and all of those things are and make it fun, get Zooks, let me know in the comments, my favorite tech tool. If you also are interested in the Think Like a Teacher podcast, information for that is in the description below. It's awesome. We talk to literally the best and brightest on planet Earth in the education world. People from this building, people from all over the planet talking about best practices on how you can be a more effective and creative teacher and how we can better serve our students. And that is it, folks. Uh, tune in next time for even more content on digital technology tools. All right. Bye.